Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning, we're doing a video, three reasons why we like keeping pigs in the wintertime. I'm telling you though, I'm having trouble keeping it to three. So we're gonna add in one bonus. I could go further, but we're only gonna go three. And this is going to be a video collaboration with Keeping It Dutch. He's gonna be giving his top three reasons for keeping pigs through the spring and summer and raising them that way. Today's, today's a perfect example of why I love raising pigs in the wintertime. We live in northern New Hampshire, growing zone 4B, and here it is, the beginning of February, and we just got six inches of heavy, wet snow last night. You're not always going to want to go outside in this weather, but it's beautiful out. And for me, having pigs forces my hands to come outside every day and enjoy this beauty. And Pluto gets to run around and play more too, huh? Let's go take the pig some leftover food. But how often are you just going to be walking around in your yard in the snow and enjoying all of this? Good morning. Good morning. You smell that? Oh yeah. This is just a quick little bonus one. We're not gonna count this, but we get to turn our food scraps into beautiful pork all year round. Now I don't want to make this unfair Dutch, so I'm not going to be counting this one as a reason either. But the winter time can get long, especially where we live. Dreary, you can get depressed down in the dumps, watching pigs run around in the snow. It just puts a smile on your face, it makes me laugh, it makes me feel so good in the winter time. If you want to see our pigs running around frolicking in the snow and having a blast, at the end of the video I'm going to add a clip of that. And that right there is just a good enough reason alone. But we're not gonna count that one. For us in our area in the winter time, piglets are a lot less money. They're about $50 less a piglet. So that means we get to raise our pigs for less money and even if they need to eat more food in the winter time to stay warm, we've saved more than enough in the price of the piglets. The reason for that is everybody wants to raise their pigs spring through summertime. The farmers that raise the big pigs and produce piglets, the animals are still breeding all throughout the year, so they still have piglets come fall. And they need to get rid of them, but there's not the supply and demand for the pigs as there is in the springtime. So they sell them for a lot less money, and we benefit from that. We're going to clump this one all together. There's probably like three or four tidbits here in the winter time, but they all kind of work together. You don't need a mud wallow in the winter time for your pigs. Pigs need a mud wallow because they can't sweat and that's how they stay cool in the summertime. So in the winter time, they don't need that. So you don't have to worry about having the mud wallow, the stink. So if you're in an area that has more houses around you and you're worried about raising pigs because you might think they smell, if you raise them properly any time during the year, they're not going to smell. But we don't always have the right setting to raise them that way. But in the winter time, they're not going to smell. They're not going to need a mud wallow. Let me show you. In the spring and summer, they're always running around on pasture. Pooping all over the place, fertilizing this nice area for us. So it doesn't smell because they're spreading it out. But in the winter time, when we can't let them out of this pen, they pick one area to go to the bathroom, which is awesome. 
Pigs are a very clean animal and they're always getting a bad rap. And that stays frozen all the time for us. So there's no smell with that pile. And you know what really excites me about a big pile of poop? I know you're thinking, you excited about a pile of poop? Yeah, I'm excited about a pile of poop. You know what I see there? I see turning that into beautiful compost and growing some delicious food and maybe some tomatoes to go with our BLTs. So think about that. Our pigs are producing bacon for us and they're helping produce the compost to grow the tomatoes. That's just wild. For us, the number one reason for raising pigs fall through the winter is for fresh bacon. We're gonna have a great abundance of fresh bacon when our tomatoes are ripe. And that means we get to eat BLTs all summer long. And I can't think of a better summertime lunch, dinner, breakfast than BLTs. Right here, yeah, that's the bacon area. Oh yes, look at that. Mm -mm. Doing a good job growing that for us. Oh man, yes, tenderize it. Oh. What? What? So if you're gonna raise pigs in the winter time, you wanna be ready for it. You wanna be ready for the snow. You wanna be ready for the cold weather. You wanna have a nice rubberized dish. So if that freezes, the water freezes in there, you can tip it over, stomp on it, smash all the ice out. We always give them warm water in the morning. And for some reason, if you can't get out here all the time, they get super thirsty. If it's snowing out, they will eat the snow. There is a little bit more thought and planning you need to do for raising pigs in the winter time because you want to be ready for the elements. If it's a freezing rainstorm, you got to come out and take care of your animals. You got to know I can get water to them, I can get feed to them. What we do is we have an automatic feeder. We keep one bag of feed in there for them so they have a constant supply of feed. So I don't have to lug feed to them every day. They take care of that themselves. But I do water two to three times a day. So if you want to raise pigs in the wintertime or summertime, do your research, learn about them, and prepare the best you can for having pigs on your property. Because it always takes effort, but it's totally worth it. We're going to have bacon, bacon coming out of our ears, enough bacon to share with our friends. This is your first time seeing our channel. Thanks for coming over. Now's a great time to subscribe to the channel and while you're there, ring the bell and that'll turn on notifications so YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, go live, or post something to our community tab. I'm gonna put the link right here for Keeping It Dutch's video on why he likes to raise pigs spring through summertime. Go on over there, check him out, tell him Lumna Acre said hi, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel. It's not time to go in yet, missus. We gotta feed the chickens. Gotta clean off the greenhouse, it's getting kinda dark in here. <laughs>